What's up Cetrans producers and welcome to a new tutorial on my YouTube channel. This is the first time that I'm doing this in English, so please be gentle regarding spelling and grammar and uh, pronunciation mistakes. Um, yeah, as you have read in the title, this one will be about setting up SciScope in FL Studio, since I have not found any reliable or any good information on how to do this particularly in this DAW. For those of you who don't know what FLS, um, what SciSco is, it's a free analyzing plugin. Uh, it's a free free waveform analyzer that uh, was just created f um, to phase align, kick and bass in Scitrans. It's free as I surely have mentioned um, and I'll put a download link in the description. It's not out for Mac so far, but I'm pretty sure this will come someday. Yeah, um, the first step is to load SciScope in a free mixer track, of course. And so far, you won't be able to see any oscillation to see any amplitude here. Um, I've created a kick and a bass, and I think oh it is phase aligned. Wait, I'll just I'll just unphase align it so that we can do this later together. Um, yeah, right now it sounds like this. And as you may have seen, it uh, there's no oscillation, no amplitude here. Um, and the level is about minus 6 dB. You should remember that. We'll come to that in a minute. So we want to set up SciScope in a way that um, we can see both the both um, input channels uh, separately so that we can see the uh, kick signal and the bass signal separately. Um, the first step or no, the second step, the first step was loading it. The second step is um, to to link it correctly. Um, you'll go to your kick and your, your bass ch uh, channels and the mixer and not regularly link them to the SciScope channel. Just rename this. Um, but to sidechain it. So yeah, either you go to sidechain to this track or you regularly route it and uh, put down this green knob. We aren't done at this point. Now you'll have to go into the settings of SciScope and to VST wrapper settings and to processing. And here you'll see these four boxes. And if you play around with, uh, with these, you'll see that there are numbers. In our case, it's up to two. Uh, that's because we have two channels in the a mixer linked to SciScope. Yeah, you can link up to four uh, up to four channels, but we'll just concentrate on kick and bass. Um, so the numbers are the channels uh, that are that are linked uh, or plugged into sidechain into the SciScope channel um, as beginning from the left. So one is the kick in our case, and two will be the bass. Um, and if you, you will play your kick and your bass now, you will see that there's an oscillation, but you will also notice that something sounds really off, sounds really wrong, and your amplitude goes up to minus three or even to zero. I don't know why FL or why SciScope does this, but um, it uh, kind of doubles the kick or the bass, I'm not sure. Um, and um, sends this to the master. Oh, I don't, I, I really don't know why it does this, but it does it. And to uh, get rid of this problem, simply plug out the SciScope plugin from your master channel and you're done. So this was the setup part. You've now set up SciScope. And um, you'll see, if, if you click on layers now, you'll see your different layers. The red one is our kick layer and the green one is our base layer. Simple as it is. 
Um, yeah. And now you can easily phase align them. Most of you will probably phase align the uh, base. I always uh, phase align the kick since I'm doing my kick in a synthesizer. And so I can easily edit the face. And for me, that is simpler than uh, phase aligning the base. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you found this informative and helpful, please consider sharing it, liking it. And if you don't want to miss out on future tutorials, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also recently created Instagram. So, oh, I didn't create Instagram, of course, but I uh, created an account. Um, and yeah, I'd really consider if you'd follow me there. And yeah, just have a nice morning, evening, day, whatever. Don't know when you're watching this. I'm out and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.